Greetings. My name is Eleni Litt, and I've been a member, supporter, and teaching artist at the West Windsor Art Center for as long as I can remember. There's so much to love about the West Windsor Art Center. As a teaching artist, what I most appreciate is the willingness to take risks and try new things. When I pitched a class to director Island Green some years ago, a combination of open studio, self-care, play, and support for developing creativity, the West Windsor Art Center responded with a yes, and Doodling Meetup was born, going on five years now. Consider my pieces here as thought bubbles from my creative heart and mind. Calm within the storm relies on the archetypal circle to encourage quieting down and staying centered. Radio Signal 2 in the Radio Signal series expresses the desire to connect, especially present throughout the pandemic. Enjoy the rest of the show and the work of my fellow artists. Hi, my name is Sarika Soman. I teach watercolors at the West Windsor Arts Council. I have done masters in fine arts. Although I have worked in all the mediums, I would say that watercolor is one of my favorite. Um, in these two paintings, getting the perfect shades for the bird was a bit challenging. I enjoyed doing the reflection in the landscape painting, the reflection in the water. The fluid and transparent qualities and sometimes the unexpected results is what, is what makes watercolor a joy to use. I look forward to seeing you in my class and we will have fun. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. My name is Jennifer Yuan. I am a Chinese brush painting artist. I teach Chinese brush painting and calligraphy workshop. My focus is nature theme such as flowers, mountains, and water. The paintings in this exhibition, Notice Flowers and Listening to Waterfalls, are two examples. The Chinese brush painting and calligraphy workshop will also be nature-themed and will emphasize on traditional brushwork on rice paper. Chinese brush painting is an art form that has thousands of years of history and continues today. West Windsor Arts Council value arts from diverse cultures and history. I'm honored and delighted to bring this art form to the community. Thank you. Hi, it's Katie Truck. I want you to listen to the seconds as they pass by. Because that's what this piece is about. Seconds, moments. For this particular series of work, I kept a stopwatch next to me. Because people always ask me how long it takes for me to finish a piece of work. So every time my hand touched the piece, I started the stopwatch. 15 hours, 38 minutes, 27 seconds. Not how often I looked at the piece or sat with the piece or deliberated about the piece or the color. How many moments my hands physically touched the piece. That's what it was about. 15 hours, 38 minutes and 27 seconds, though it took me weeks to actually finish it. Hello, my name is Lori Langsner. After a rewarding career in art education, I've now moved my focus back to my own personal artwork. As I paint on plein air, I become one with nature and my surroundings. What is on plein air? A French expression that means painting in the open air. As seen in Impressionist paintings, the goal is to capture the ever-changing light of the landscape. The gentle breeze, the quiet sounds, and the fresh air all create a wonderful sense of inner peace. With dancing brushstrokes across my canvas, I am able to express how I am feeling at this moment in time. These two paintings represented in this show were done on plein air, on location at Lake Carnegie and Princeton Battlefield. When viewing my paintings, I hope that gentle calmness transcends. For the past six years, I've had the pleasure of teaching art of oil painting and plein air capture the moment to adults at West Windsor Arts Council. I look forward to returning back in the studio this fall. Hi, my name is Milian. 
As a teaching artist in the West Windsor Arts Council, I taught tapestry and Korean traditional art. I am an interior architect, which means I design space. I'm also an artist and I make various interior decor items that would go well with the spaces I design, including pottery, paintings, and tapestry. I strongly believe that even a very small item makes a big difference in the ambience of a space. These pottery vases reflect this belief. They are hand-built without a pottery wheel. They have a neutral color scheme and organic design that does not have a fixed form. These are designed and created to match any given space and add richness to it. They can function as flower vases with water or be simply used as decor items. Hi, this is Lisa Steinberg. I have been a teaching artist at West Windsor Arts Camps for about five years. I teach the fashion design camps in the summer. Um, I've been an accomplished artist, designer, and illustrator and worked in New York City. And most recently, I am the author of Beginner's Guide to Sketching the Fashion Figure. The illustrations on display are part of the work that was created for the college level textbook. Fashion art has always been my first love of all the arts that I have done because of the exaggeration of line, shape, and textures, um, and of course the beauty of the clothing on the figure. Kowski, and I am one of the teaching artists at the West Windsor Arts Council. Many of my artwork fixates on the themes of time, mortality, and the macabre, and that usually results in a structured as well as ephemeral works of art, but not always the case. There are no boundaries when I use materials or I'm trying to create something um, because I specifically choose my materials based on the context of the artwork and the imagery of the artwork that I'm producing. I find it crucial to make my pieces visually recognizable and straightforward because I want to allow viewers outside of the artistic community to participate. So by making and creating things that are recognizable, it's, you know, more inviting, I mean, despite that some of my stuff is kind of creepy, like, you know, it gives everybody a chance. For me, I continue my interest in leaves, and I find there's a meta metaphor in leaves on how we age. In this piece, I've begun to explore painting with thread. The interplay of color and shapes is more important than the stitches. Hello, I'm Pratibha Raju, an artist and a visual art teacher. I got my bachelor's degree in fine art, specialized in drawing and painting in 1998 from India. Since then, I have been practicing and teaching drawing and painting in different mediums and styles. For the last 10 years, I have been working on landscape painting in acrylics and watercolors. Nature is all around us and the pleasant nature motivates me to create landscape painting. I like to observe the change of colors and light and shade effect of each season. These paintings are inspired by places in and around Princeton and Plainsboro. The painting The Car Ride at Sunset is an inspiration from the photo I captured near Princeton Meadows. I like to be around nature and painting nature is an expression of showcasing the zest of the inner beauty. On the other painting, the pleasant path is from the Lawrence Hopeful Trail as I enjoy walking around along the nature trails. I have been teaching in Westminster Art Council since 2016 and I enjoy teaching and motivating young students to showcase their talent. I take the Drawing Foundations course where we work on building on the skills of freehand drawing and the watercolor painting course which uh, teaches about the basics of painting. Thank you.